Okay, so I, I just want to say, I'll, I'll take a little bit of a time, so please excuse me. You guys have sat so long, we've sat, met such wonderful people, such great achievers. Another few minutes. <clears throat> Normally when you get an award of this caliber, I guess the regular way, regular way of acceptance is uh, to first thank the organizers of this award and then show gratitude and a bit of humility and also thank the team behind uh, the work that has made you get this award. But I'm going to do none of it. <laughs> Honestly. And I have two very good reasons for it and if you have two very good minutes, I'd like to explain myself to you. It's been a bloody long time since I won an award now. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> you know, I've started believing now I was doomed or destined to win one of these, what, lifetime achievement awards at these loud and colorful TV award shows, which unfortunately I've also hosted lots of. And I really want to keep this award to myself, not share it with anyone at all. And the second reason is, you know, because I've had three highly successful films this year, super duper hits, show off, <laughs> little bit, why not, thousand crore club and stuff, man, yeah. So there are thousands of people behind, some of them present here, like my friend Anirudh, who are responsible for this success. And uh, to thank thousands of people will take a lot more than two minutes, so I'm not going to thank them either. The other thing is <coughs> that I believe that this award should be devoured by me. It should only be eaten by me. Because in the voice of Vikram Rathor from Javan, I am hungry. <laughs> and I've always been hungry. And I'm hungrier now with this award in my hand because there is no other way you can be if you want to keep on doling out entertainment year after year for 140 crore people for the last 33 plus years. And I'm also very impetuous, impulsive, like a modern actor should be, modernistic, futuristic, unbridled and innovative. So I just like to tell you how I sign my films. At the spur of a moment, I hear a story and I say yes to it. I don't think about the box office. I don't think about, should I be playing this character even if it's vertically challenged? Should it be like larger than life? No, I just say, okay, I'll do this film. And then I keep awake all night because I'm futuristic and wait, wait for someone from future to come and tell me, bro, this is a bad decision in the future. More often than not, nobody comes. So I wake up in the morning and in a jiffy, I've signed this film and I'm doing it. Apart from being impetuous, I'm also very, very confident in my talent and hard work. So confident that very often my wife tells me that you're overconfident and cocky. Hubristic I also sometimes. I'll just give you an example, it's not so. My 10-year-old son has a Lego set and I finish it end to end in four days. Yes. Full. Though clearly on the box it says 6 to 12 years. <laughs> but I finish it. My son obviously explained to me that this is for the specification of the age. It is Najifi. I've signed this film and I'm doing it. Apart from being impetuous, I'm also very, very confident in my talent and hard work. So confident that very often my wife tells me that you're overconfident and cocky. Hubristic I also sometimes. I'll just give you an example. It's not so. My 10-year-old son has a Lego set and I finish it end-to-end -end in four days. Yes, full. Though clearly on the box it says six to 12 years. <laughs> but I finish it. My son obviously explained to me that I believe badness deserves a kick in the backside. But going to bubbles bursting, the last four or five years have been a bit of a ride for me and my family. I'm sure some of you also because of COVID and stuff. You know, most of my films flopped. A lot of specialists and analysts started writing my death knell. Some idiots did the same, which actually is the same thing, analysts and idiots. So it's not something that I really bother about. And then, at a personal level, a little bit of bothersome and unpleasant things also happened, to say the least, which <coughs> made me learn a lesson that be quiet, be very quiet and work hard 
with dignity and still know it in your heart. When you think that everything is good, suddenly out of nowhere, wham, life may come and hit you and topple your apple cart. But this is the time where you need to be the hopeful, happy, honest storyteller and continue doing whatever you're doing and kind of think this is an aberration, this is a nasty plot twist. It is not the story that you're living and 100% is not the story's end. Because somebody somewhere told me that life may फिल्मों की तरह अंत में सब ठीक हो जाता है और अगर ठीक ना हो तो अंत नहीं है पिक्चर अभी बाकी है मेरे दोस्त एंड आई बिलीव इन एम बिकॉज आई बिलीव द गुडनेस बिगेट्स गुडनेस सो वेन आई गेट एन अवार्ड लाइक दिस वन आई एम रिमाइंडेड दैट आई शुड रिमेन द इटर्नल ऑप्टमिस्ट and hang on to the self belief that i am the fastest lego maker in the world <laughs> and i should play honest roles that give people courage to dream i should keep working hard quietly with the hope that the life doesn't topple my apple cart any time soon and yes i should remain impulsive and impetuous so i started differently but impetuously i feel i should thank cnn news 18 for conferring me with this award thank you very much i want to congratulate all the other winners here and i know your achievements are far greater than mine and mind you i'm only saying this to bring some humility in my speech i don't really mean it here yeah. <laughs> but seriously i want to thank siddharth anand for making pathan for me aditya chopra for producing it atli kumar for making the biggest hit in hindi cinema jawan Anirudh for giving the music for it, and of course Raj Kumar Hirani and uh, Abhijit Joshi who gave me one of the most beautiful films of my life, Dunkey. I want to honour and dedicate this award to all the cast and crew members who worked relentlessly to make this possible. But I am not giving it to them. <laughs> I'm keeping it myself because I need 30 seconds more. Zaka, I'll just tell you because some years back when I used to get a lot of awards, I decided. that every award that i give get i'll take it as a gift for one of my kids it will bring cheer to their lives and i truly believe that the last 4 or 5 years that my family has seen my children has seen my wife has seen gauri i think nobody <coughs> deserves a bigger cheer right now than them so i'm taking this award back home for them and i'd like to say something brash I've kept my speech written but it is because it is checked 3 4 times over that I don't say something stupid and wrong and I get <coughs> picked on for it but still I'd like to say this thing which is very very brash that I don't just feel like the Indian of the year I feel I have been the Indian of all the years gone by and I will be the Indian for all the years to come I am actually ladies and gentlemen the indian for all ages but i I'd, i'd like to thank everyone here genuinely and people who are watching this on television hordes of you who came this year to watch my films some of you may not have even liked them but i know deep down inside you came there to support me and my family so i bow down to you and thank you Thank you for bringing cheer to my family, my children, my loved ones, and I thank you for making me the star I am yet again.